We're just coming into spring now. You can see today we've got a bit of hazy sunshine. And although the nights are still being cold, frost throughout the last four nights this week, we're in that changeover period. It's gone from the winter day bites on pop-ups. That's dried up very quickly. And it's, a, it's not a tangible time to put, you can't put dates to it. You know, it happens when it happens. And the only difference is the carp have gone from being half awake and a bit clumsy and a bit gullible, really. They'll eat the old bright lures to being wide awake and they simply won't tolerate them. That combined with the fact that the anglers have started to descend with good weather and they're all a bit trigger happy after a long winter and throwing bait everywhere, which really doesn't help matters. For this sort of period, I revert to my favorite tactics that go back for the last 25 years. And that is little tiny sticks and either small bits of pepper army or maize as a hook bait and loose feeding pellets. Uh, the situation we're in today, at a cold night, but we've been walking around and baiting a few spots with a few bloodworm pellets and already, would you believe, although the water's still cold, we've got a few fish munching on the spots. So we're going to nip round in a minute, lower a rod in and try and catch one live for you. Well, we just walked round. We're in a little corner of the lake here, and there's a big yellow spot. And uh, we threw a little couple of handfuls of bloodworm pellet about an hour ago. And I came back and there's a couple mooching about. So we've quickly sorted a rod. I've made a little stick up in my pocket. One rod, like quick smart. We're just going to literally put a sprinkle of pellet in, although we don't need to at the minute because there's no fish on the spot. Put a rig in, just give it half hour, see if we can nab one quick. No fight, that's how cold it is, look. <laughs> Got him. That was a bit close quarters, and although the water's cold, it took us like a little bit longer than I expected. We lost the light, and little sort of shallower, edgy spots like this are totally dependent on the sun at this time of year. We had the sun to start with, we fed him a few pellets and there was a few milling around and feeding. We thought this is gonna be like taking candy from a baby. Well, actually it weren't. They kept coming in and out ghosting a couple of foot off the bottom. And then just as I got the bite, then I saw a big black shake come from the back, saw the line flick and, and then we had the net stuck in the brambles. It's never easy, is it, eh? But anyway, lovely times. Got ourselves a nice carp to have a look at. Well, there you go. It took a little bit longer than we'd have liked, but this lovely fat old boy came, snuffled in and nicked me a bit of rami. We'd, uh, we'd baited a couple of spots along this margin. It was sunny earlier, and we literally put handful in, kept walking up the bank and checking, only second walk up, and there's three or four eating the pellet. They love them bloodworm pellet. So yeah, we only got a rod, lowered one in. I expected it to be instant, but then we lost the light, and the light's everything at this time of year. The water's still very cold, and even though they only pushed out probably 20 yards out into the main water like it was out in the pond weather, it went very dark, looked like rain was looming. But the odd one was sneaking back in, and yeah, we got one in the end. It took longer than I'd thought, but like I said, we lost the light. But later on today, apparently, it's meant to brighten up. So we'll keep feeding a few spots along this margin, and I reckon there'll be another chance. <sighs> look, straight back in the corner, look. You greedy sausage. As you can see, 
by looking around me. It's a nice sunny afternoon and spring is definitely well on the way. A complete contrast to a few weeks ago when it was really cold, super frosty nights and you know, just dour conditions, the back end of winter, probably the hardest time. And it went very quickly, we found. We were getting our bikes on single high track pop-ups, you know, and a very, very well used tactic for this time of year. One of my favorite methods of fishing through the winter and the early spring. But there always comes a time between the two where there's a distinct change, something changes. Normally it's the water temperature or it gets towards the end of March, the sun's a bit higher in the sky, the fish start to move into different areas. Those approaches seem to die a death a little bit. When you're just carp fishing, I'm talking generally, and especially on this lake, two weeks ago, I started to get aborted takes on my bright, super strong pop-ups, and I knew it was time to change. And what do I change to? Well, I change to what I always change to at this time of year. Once I start wanting to fish little traps, little oily, fishy stick with a small piece of pepper army, super visual, loads of punch there, loads of power for dropping fish. The, all the oils are emulsified into the powders when you mix them and sit for a few days. And the overall effect when you compress them and put them on the bottom is it's just banging out tiny droplets of oil constantly. And it's often all you need to drop a fish to the rig and get you a bite. As the carp wake up, the carp anglers wake up too. Most of them are solar powered, first sign of sun, and then you'll always see people with a bucket walking around a lake throwing bait here and there. And that's the thing, you know, baiting levels at this time of year can be really critical. Trigger happy anglers everywhere, firing boilies out when it's way too early for carp to be eating that sort of food in any amount, um, can really set back the fishing. And those little tiny, seemingly not, not so effective, you know, a little tiny oily stick with a bit of pepper army can be devastating. Baiting those little spots with pellets like we've done today, few handfuls of bloodworm pellet on a nice little corner spot in the sun or gets the sun often that's all you need you know you keep walking around checking your little spots and there's usually opportunities to be found.